I spend a lot of time thinking things like how alone I am and how abandoned I feel and how old I'm getting. So after I put on the shirt from the back of my closet, which is basically like the storage area because it's a reject because it shrank so much after I bought it and it's got a big hole in the sleeve. And I just, I love it still. And it's soft. And when I put it on, it reminded me that I might be different. But I'm worth loving. And I love myself. And I said, I have a kind heart. And I'm cute. And I'm wise. And I'm willing to make sacrifices that supersede wisdom in cases where doing the right thing is harder than being wise or selfish. I know the difference. I know when to look away and when to give my all. And I might be unseen, but I'm not unloved. I might be alone. But it's undeserved. The story of how I got this way might be tragic, but it's not the end. I have, might have failed at making friends along the way, but... My hair isn't all the way gray yet. I'm kind. I have a kind heart. And I'm cute. And I'm wise. And my compassion supersedes my wisdom in times when it makes more sense to do what's right than what's easy or selfish. And I will never throw it all away. Or crumble your empire to the wind. But I will mine. Because God will build it all again. Because I live on faith anyway, according to Matthew 6.25. And it gives me great peace to cling to Jesus and realize that it doesn't matter how lonely I am. Because... Everything I long for just makes it take longer for me to get to my destiny. And I'm trying so hard to let go. God keeps testing me in all the pain. Sometimes it gets the best of me, but it don't matter because I still got breath in me. <sighs> I'm Jack's daughter, and Thea's daughter, and God's daughter, and Jaden's mother. And for what it's worth, a few other things. I used to say I'm the songbird who sings, but it's been a while Since I worshipped and smiled, it's been a while since I had the strength to exert my freedom and privacy in a dark place 
with dark eyes watching me. But I got a blank slate. Every day a new page, just like Dr. Caroline Leaf would say about how our thoughts are new every morning. So we wake up with countless billions of baby brain cells every day with which to think new thoughts if we so choose with our mind. And I still have time to use before I die. And I just pray I make the best of it. <sighs> the rest of it. Right now I'm busy working on the recipe. So before I forget, before I burn my miniature bagels, before my little cereal gets soggy, let me remember that I still haven't poured the milk, even though it's non-dairy. Oat silk. Even though life is scary, even though I tarry in the tumbling pile of rubble from everything I've ever built. It's going to get better. I know it will. Even if I'm at a standstill. Even if my heart breaks for some man still. Even if I can't stand the sight of my windowsills and every blinds are closed. Even if I can't go outside in these clothes. I still know. God holds me close. Wherever I go, he goes before. And I'm so thankful that the Holy Ghost hasn't left me. In spite of how undeserving I feel, in spite of all my guilt and my shame, in spite of all the reasons why he should have gone away, I am not forsaken. July 21st, 2021. Fly Honey Bree out.